Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And finally, we've got some World of Tanks action again. As we can see today, I'm doing something totally different. We're looking at an artillery replay. Yes, you are seeing this right. This replay is played by Yogurt Boy, one of my closest platoon mate friends and friends in real life. So, I do have to congratulate Yogan before we really get into the biggest, yeah, the most action of this replay. Because last Friday he had his 19th birthday. So, again, big congrats to you. And, yeah, as it is his birthday, it's been his birthday, we're going to see some awesome replay by him here in his M53, M55, the tier 9 American SPG or self-propelled gun or artillery, whatever you like to call it. This is going to be an absolute cracker of a game. And I could not not feature this replay on the channel. So to say. So as this is the new. Oh yeah the new patch 9.18. I wanted to say. But 9.19 has already been released. What I meant to say is. In 9.19 artillery has been fixed. So to say by wargaming. So just to summarize. What has happened to artillery. From patch 9.17.1 to 9.18. What has happened? Well, what Wargaming actually tried to fix is artillery one-shotting enemy tanks all the time. Oh yeah, pretty much all of the time. And that's the thing that they tried to prevent. So, what did they do? They lowered the penetration of the normal rounds. They also removed all the AP or APCR rounds, if even artillery had those. So, uh, yeah, direct hits with AP now aren't uh, possible anymore. But in return, the artillery got a lot back for this. So what did they get back? They got back more splash radius. Pretty much all of their other statistics got buffed. Their accuracy, their aim time, their reload time, pretty much everything. And to top it all off, they got a free, yeah, pretty much a free stun mechanic above this. So Wargaming introduced this stun mechanic as a sort of, uh, yeah, to make artillery more... Involved in team play in uh, World of Tanks. As you can see, there's a number, yeah, a counter above that Leopard PT that Joker just hit, um, which gives him the indication that he stunned his tank, which pretty much means that all of his crew, uh, yeah, for a certain amount of time, lose their effectiveness by 25% or so, if I am remembering this correctly. So, the stun mechanic is introduced as a sort of assistance way, so that the team uh, could easily, yeah, more easily damage enemy tanks. More on that later, but is artillery really fixed? That is what I asked myself for a really long time. At first, I really, really liked this change, but the more I played in the new patch 9.18 and now a little bit of 9.19, I am not really sure if artillery has really been fixed. And I am still thinking about making a video in which I discuss my full opinion on if artillery is really fixed or not. And I'm still hesitating a bit if I should make that video. Uh, if you guys want to see that then let me know in the comments down below for sure. But for now let's see what Yogurt can do in his M5355 in 9.18. So he is on Fiery Salient. Of course one of the worst maps for artillery right? <clears throat> yep exactly. One of the worst maps for artillery. And pretty much what is happening right now. Every time he reloads. He is able to fire. As we can see, there's always some enemy tanks spotted. There's always some enemy tanks to fire at. So he's pretty much constantly shooting and reloading. And yeah, that's just the ideal situation for an artillery, right? Because now, of course, that they don't one-shot enemy tanks anymore, they don't do full damage. And yeah, they're just going to do like 400 uh, in a normal shot. Or even more if you're lucky. But that PTA just got tracked in the open and Yoko just finished him off with a good shot right there. <laughs> and again, he is still reloading. I don't really know what the reload time of this tank is in 9.19 or what it was in 9.17.1. But it looks like it's been reduced to around 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, and Yoko has probably got a very good crew in this tank. Oh! Let's, uh, let's see, guys. This is a Borsig. We know he's got no armor whatsoever. Is one-shotting still possible or not? So, let's see. Ah, uh, good shot. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Um, well, uh, one-shotting was less likely, I thought. But, oh, well. No problem. Even though the HE shells have got less penetration now, I guess. It is still possible to one-shot tanks. So, that Borsig certainly... 
uh, yeah, felt the, the new artillery balance in 9.18. So, what is happening right now as we can see, this is pretty much a standard battle. So far, the whole team uh, pretty much took the mid-ridge, especially the medium tanks and the fast light tanks. The, those are just crossing around and uh, driving around the mid-ridge of the tank. Keeping the enemy tank spotted, which is very advantageous for Yogurt. For Yogurt. Also, as we can see on the hill at the zero line, we've got the same kind of problems as always. The enemy team sits at H0 and our team just... Yeah, and, uh, and the ally team uh, just sits at uh, F0. So yeah, pretty standard stuff right there. And that's probably going to stay like that for a very long time. But as we can see in the allied base, there's a Leopard PTA. Not really sure what that guy is doing. He is probably AFK. But that doesn't really matter that much. As we can see, let's take a look at the 9 of the 1-2 line, I mean. There's only a SU-101 and a Super Pershing right there. They're probably not going to hold off all the enemy tanks. But as we can see, all the enemy tanks, apart from the GW P Tiger P on the enemy team, have been spotted. So it's very likely that we know what tanks are going to be at the 1-2 line. But as Yogurt is... Giving his allies very good fire support here. I'm not really doubting that uh, the SU-100-1 and the Super Pershing will be safe. For now at least right there. So that T-32 just gets tracked in the open. And Yoward just yeah finishes him off as well. So as we can see. Some really good stuff by Yoward right here. He's got a lot of blind shots that he hit. We saw a lot of shots blindly hit. So he's probably got a lot of uh, yeah, damage that he dealt blindly. So as we can see here, this low way, this low way. Yeah, he's right in the open. Let's see what Yogurt can do to him. If he manages to get a shot off. He stays really nicely in the open so far. So let's see what Yogurt can do to him. Oh, just as he is about to reload, he goes into the dip. Ah, that's just a bit unfortunate. But oh well, I think Yogurt is going to give him some revenge for that. He's got a shot. He leads it very nicely. And he sets him on fire as he hits his engine deck. There we go. The enemy lower taken care of. That's around six and a half hundred damage. Well, but really said. But oh well, doesn't matter. He takes down the lower with a nice fire. And yeah, that's that that's all of that for that lower right there. So now there's only this ST1 still left on that hill. Would be very nice to take him down. As his team will then be able to advance over the hill at the zero line to be able to put pressure maybe on the cap of the enemy or try to uh, create the crossfire. And uh, if that happens, then this game will be won for sure. But for now, we've got to we've got to worry about that because yeah, T49 would really nice would be really nice to kill him as he's a very good player as we can see. But he gets unspotted as Yogurt takes a shot. He just takes a shot anyway to hope for luck. But unfortunately, he does not hit him. So he's got a bit of problems here with uh, choosing his target. It doesn't really matter anyway as all of those targets. Uh, get unspotted even before he reloads. So that doesn't really matter. So next shot is going to be aimed up at this SD1 as we can see. So let's take a look what he will do. He's almost reloaded and skadoosh. There we go. SD1 drives backwards a little bit and he manages to hit him. Anyway, 300 damage. No one shot as we can see. Luckily for that SD1. But so far, the scores are neck and neck. There's fe 4202 Who's trying to get into the bush. But it looks like he's not going to survive for that long. As we can see. And there he goes. Back to the garage with you sir. <laughs> so SD1 is spotted again. As we can see the, F the Emil and the FE4202 on Yogurt's team. Have flanked around the, the hill. Uh, to try and flank the SD1. Good play by them. Because of that Yogurt... Uh, Gets another shot onto the SD1. But unfortunately, the SD1 manages to kill the Emil too. So now, that FE4202 is going to have a little bit of trouble. Because, yeah, a tier 8 medium tank trying to take out an SD1. That's a whole tier higher. And that's an enemy tank with, yeah, good armor. That's not going to be the easiest stock ever. Also, the FE4202 now has to deal with this T49. He's a one shot for him, luckily. But, yeah, well... If the T-49 manages to splash his HE shell with his derp gun onto the FE-4202, there's a very big chance that the T-49 will also take out the FE-4202. So we'll see how that will happen. Yogurt is asking the T-49 
to uh, go around into a hold-down position to try and take him down. Yoga takes a shot, but it's going to miss by a long, yeah, by a mile. But luckily, the FE4202 manages to take that T49 down. So as we can see, all the best players on the enemy team have been taken care of, partly by Yogurt and partly because uh, of his teammates, of course. So now the SD1 gets spotted again. It looks like he's going into the dip, which is pretty unfortunate because he will not be able to hit those enemy, yeah, that SD1 at the moment. So also the low A, the IS6 and the T28 prototype haven't been spotted for some time now. And it would be really nice to try and kill as many tanks as quickly as possible now because he's only got four minutes left on the game and that's certainly what you not want as a draw at this moment right so yeah let's see what he will do yo it aims up a shot for the sd1 but unfortunately it doesn't look like the sd1 is stupid enough to drive into the open yeah the fe4202 is still alive luckily but it seems like the game has died off a little bit right now and unfortunately the sd1 takes down the fe4202 which put this game neck and neck again. So the scores are even at the moment. Oh, the Lowe gets spotted again. Nice jo nice spotting by the T-54 lightweight probably. Yogurt puts a big old hit into him. 500 almost. A very good amount for an artillery that's not able to easily one-shot enemy tanks anymore. But still, 500 damage for just aiming up a shot, right? So Yogurt cannot complain about that. And as we can see in chat, Yogurt also mentions he's only got four shells left in his entire tank. He's been reloading and firing so many times this game that he's only got four shells left in his tank. Which is, yeah, a pretty big problem, really. He's got three minutes left, so he will probably be able to fire all the rest of his shots within that time if he manages to... Uh, Keep on firing, so to say. But it doesn't really look like it at the moment. A T-54 lightweight better be trying to spot though, as well as he can right now. Because if yeah, if he sees the timer right now and the amount of enemy tanks that are left, he knows that a lot has to be done right now. Oh, there's the enemy artillery. Nice leading shot by Yogurt here. Let's see if he will take him down. Would be really nice to kill the enemy SPG. Direct hit and he takes him down. Really nicely done. 5 kills and 2.6k damage that we have seen, everyone. So, Yogurt is reloading again. He's only got 3 shells left now. Only 2 minutes left on the game. This is going to be really, really close. But unfortunately, as we can see, the T-54 lightweight did not survive his spotting run. And this is really bad because now, yeah, the enemy tanks will not be spotted, likely. Apart from the SU-101 or a Super Pershing. They just need to go and set up on the ridge, I think. They asked Yogurt to move to A1. Which is not really necessary in my opinion. But yeah. What needs to be done now is spotting those enemy tanks. Because Yogurt is pretty much the only, th only guy that can do something about this right now. I don't know what that Super Pershing is doing. Because he's on full health. And if he's set on the middle right now, he will probably be penetrated by the enemy ticks anyway, as he was mostly showing his turret. But unfortunately, he is not spotting, which, oh, you know, this is going to be very close if Yogurt is still going to manage to win this game. But it's very much looking like this game is going to be a draw at the moment. The team is playing far too passively at the moment. And as we can see, that Leopard PTA is still AFK in the base, which is not helping anyway whatsoever. So this... Pretty much could be considered a 3 versus 4 battle. He's only got 1 minute left. Yeah. Can Yogurt at least manage to pick up his top gun maybe. Because it's very unlikely that he's going to win this game right now. We can pretty much only hope for a draw still. And it would be really nice if Yogurt could pick up his top gun in an artillery. So the SU-101 goes forwards finally. As we can see, those enemy heavies have just been camping there. And yes, he takes down the IS-6. Top gun secured at least. So will he be able to put at least one more shot into the enemy lower before this game is going to end? Because yeah, only 30 seconds left. There's no way they're going to be able to win this game at least. I hope they're at least going to pull a draw out of it. They probably will. So if I just manage to spot that low A or the T-28 prototype, you can at least put in one more round... And uh, hopefully end this game with a good feeling, I guess. 
He's got a lot of blind damage done, so I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. Oh my god, he fires a blind shot at the end, and it hits. Guys, let's take a look at the post-game stats. What a game by Yogurt in his artillery. He got an ace tanker as well as one of the best medals you can get as an RT player. I think it's called the Gorse medal, for which you need to do at least 10 times... Uh, the amount of your hit points in damage, which is just ridiculous. As we can see, also did 5.7k almost damage, which is just ridiculous for a tier 8 tank, let alone a tier 8 artillery in patch 9.18. Just an absolutely amazing and ridiculous battle by Yogurt right there. So this video was a little bit comparable to a subscriber replays episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to call this a subscriber replays episode. But if you're interested in sending in a replay, that is still possible. Tokrift10 at gmail.com is the email address to which you need to send your replay. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video as always. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.